Jason Savile, Screw Chief Michael, and we're going to talk about steering stabilizers. You guys have one that's a headstock one, or a, what you were calling a radial. radial. Um, this is the radial one made by GPR, yeah. and this one uh, basically it's the same principle as the linear one. It has an orifice, and you can open and close the orifice to have the steering stabilized by means of hydraulics. It's um, controlling the flow of oil. In. It's the controlling the flow of oil through a smaller orifice with a needle and a seat. Um, and what's the purpose of a stabilizer? Why do we even care? We want to, if we get what we call a tank slapper, or we have a uh, an oscillation in the in the handlebars as the guy is riding the bike, leaning the bike over, we want to be able to control that by means of hydraulics, or when they used to have it back in the days, so that was a, a spring, piece of leather, uh, and, and two flat washers to hold that. Now, these days, they do it with hydraulic. And you turn the dial to get your stiffness setting there? Yes. Uh, this dial, it, at the end of it, obviously has a, uh, a needle and a seat, and the, the, uh, the more you turn this thing up, the closer the needle gets to the seat and the less oil will flow through the orifice so that the steering gets really, really stiff to turn it from side to side. And basically all it does, it, it uh, bas you basically break the harmonics of the oscillation. What, uh, there's a setting from zero to 20 there. What does uh, Jason usually run? Lately, we've been running it at 14. At the beginning of the year, we had it at nine, eight to nine. Some, some places eight, some places nine, but lately we've been running it at 15 or 14. And you just set it and let it go? He does not something he really plays with on the fly or can he do that? He can if he wants to, but he does not. Usually these guys, when they want to change this, they come in and sit down and turn it and play with it and then go back out. But no, it's, it's something that you should be able to turn on the fly, but Jason never does that. I noticed just the way this mount system works, to get here, if you need to change offsets or work in the steering head at all, this allows you to unbolt it here and flip it up so you can get to those parts. Yes, it's a matter of taking three screws loose and this top part will come off, the damper itself will come off, then you, of course you'd have to take the uh, steering stem nut off and then you can change your offsets. All right, is there anything else about steering stabilizers that we need to know that we, any misconceptions you've seen about them out there in the press anywhere? Uh, no, this is one is just an easy access, whereas in the linear ones, you usually sit down by the lower triple clamp, and those are very hard to get to for the rider. This is actually easy for the rider to get to if he wants to add in a little bit more, but the ones on the bottom are very, very hard to get to. I mean, I don't think that a rider is going to lean down, go going 160 miles an hour, trying to turn that thing in or out, and especially if he doesn't know which way to go with it. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome.